Uh, today we're gonna learn uh, some multiplication and uh, to do that we're uh, gonna mix a little bit of relaxation technique to uh, get our mind in the right mindset to uh, be able to absorb as much as we can. <coughs> so the way we're gonna start is that we're gonna take eight deep breaths and uh, at the out breath of uh, every one of them we're gonna relax a certain part of our body so for the first one we uh, take a deep breath in and when we breathe out we relax our feet so uh, start by the in breath and then we breathe out in the next one we're gonna relax our legs on the out breath so we breathe in And as we breathe out, we relax our legs. In the next one, we're gonna relax our hips. So we breathe in. And on the out breath, we relax our hips. In the next one, we're gonna relax our stomach area. So we breathe in. and we breathe out on the next one we're going to relax every muscle in our arms in the next out breath we're going to relax every muscle in our chest In the next breath, out breath, we are going to relax every part of our neck and shoulders. And in the final one, we are going to relax our face muscles and the muscles in our head. Now with this beginning point, we should be a little bit more receptive of what we're about to learn. So uh, the goal here is to uh, learn and on memor or memorize this uh, multiplication table. To begin with, um, the one times table is uh, pretty easy to remember. So. Uh, it's just one times the number is the number itself. So we do not really have to work for memorizing that. So I'm gonna wipe out the numbers that have ones in them. And there's also another one that's very simple to remember, and that's the 10 times table. So 10 times anything is gonna be just adding a zero to the number. So in other words, 10 times 3 is 30, 10 times 6 is 60, 8 times 10 is 80. So just take the number we're multiplying 10 by and add a 0. So uh, we're not going to have to focus on the 10 times table. So I'm going to ask that as well. Now, this is already getting a little bit more manageable. So uh, we start with uh, 100 numbers, but uh, we erase uh, 10 and 10 and 9, oh, 10, 10, 8, 8. So uh, we erased 36 numbers. So uh, what we have left to remember is 64 numbers, which is a lot better than 100. So, uh, but we uh, are going to simplify it a little bit more. 
So uh, since we know that uh, the order doesn't matter, so uh, for example, two times three is equal to six, which is the same as three times two. And that goes for all of them. So uh, six times nine is equal to 54, which is equal to nine times six. So with this knowledge, we can exclude uh, more numbers. So uh, we already took away the one times table and the 10 times table, but now three times two is the same, three times two is the same as two times three. So uh, knowing this one, we don't need to know this one. Same goes for this and this. So we can exclude this. Uh, here we have three times four, which is the same as four times three, three times five, same as five times three and so forth. So we can exclude almost half of the table. So uh, get rid of those three, those two, and this one here. All right, so we got it from 100 numbers and by eliminating one and 10, we got it down to 64. So now the question is how many numbers do we have here? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight numbers here. So I'm gonna teach you a trick to add consecutive numbers. So if we have one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight, and the question is, what does this equal? What we can do is that we can write the same number of the same number sequence below, but in reverse order. So if we have eight plus seven plus six is five plus four is three is two plus one. Now if we add this up, each one of the two numbers adds up to nine. So we have nine. 9, 9, 9, 5 plus 4 is 9, 6 plus 3 is 9, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 9. So uh, the sum of all of those is going to be just um, 8 times 9, which happens to be 72. But now we've counted the number twice. So the first line must be just half of this value. So um, that'll be 36. Um, let's write this like 72 divided by two equal to 36. So we've taken the numbers from 100 down to 64, down to 36. We need to find uh, either a method to memorize the 36 numbers or some uh, ways to uh, to memorize a part of it and then use some rules to get the other ones. Before you <coughs> watch the next video where we uh, look at one way to do this, I encourage you to think about it for yourself. So. Uh, which parts can be derived from others and which parts do you have to memorize or I mean this is a balance you can memorize everything or you can derive everything on the go so uh, think about your balance where um, how much you want to memorize and how much you want to derive on the fly so uh, thank you for joining us for math meditation today I uh, hope you will join us again in the future. Thanks.